Hello, hello! Welcome to Apex. In this video, we are going to be going over how you will be signing in to Apex every time you use it and how you will navigate it to be successful in your course. So the first thing you're going to do is open your Google Chrome window. It'll open you up to a page similar to this. In the search window at the top, you are going to type in apexvs.com. Once you press enter, it will bring you to a page that looks like this. If it doesn't and it just Google searches it for you, you're going to have to click the top option, which will then lead you to this blue screen. So that's how you're always going to find the site. To sign in, you are going to use the username and the password that were assigned to you from your teacher. So if at this point you don't know what your login is, please pause the video, take a second to go find it. It was sent to you in some way, and then you can replay the video picking up right where we left off. But you're going to type in your username. Yours will be different than mine, so please do not just copy mine down. And then you press sign in. Now, if this is your first time signing into Apex, you will not open up to a screen like this. It will ask you to change your password because you are given a generic password. At this point, you will just pick whatever password you will remember, and I highly recommend you write it down just in case you forget it. If you ever do forget your password and you didn't write it down somewhere or you did and you just can't find it, just reach out to your teacher and your teacher will be able to reset your password for you and you will be able to fix it at that time. So if you ever can't log in, just reach out to your teacher. We are here to help you. Okay, now at this point, once you've updated that password, you're looking at a list of courses or maybe even just one course. Yours probably is not business applications. That's a sample course that I have available to show you because this, again, is a tutorial that's just going to walk you through how to use Apex. So yours is going to look a little different than mine, but this is the gist of what you need to know. So underneath your courses, just open up one of the courses, and it'll take you to a page that looks like so. Again, yours will be a little bit different than mine. At the top, you'll see all of the units, unit one, unit two, and so on and so on. In every single unit, you'll see that there are a certain amount of assignments. I have finished five of those in this sample unit, just to show you what it would look like. And you can see in each unit what material is going to be taught throughout those units. Now, this one is unit one, two, three, four, five, and then unit six only has four. That's because it's just the final exam. So that last unit is typically either a midterm or a final exam. It's just a big test to summarize everything that you've learned. So throughout the units, it's very similar to units or chapters that you would do in a classroom where it's organized with notes, um, quizzes, different written assignments, and so on. So if you didn't see what I just clicked, let me just go back to that. I clicked on the first unit right here. And then this is already done. The green check marks show that I've already completed that. So you can skip ahead to what you haven't done yet, which for mine would be one, two, seven. So to do that quiz, which is in progress, that's where I left off, I am going to go to the 126 study right before it, and I'm going to press start. Now, this is where you're always going to start. Every single part of every unit will have several studies throughout it, and then it'll have assessments based on those studies. So you're always going to start at a study, and then you're going to continue on to the assessment. So the studies are somewhere between, like, 12 to 25 pages long, um, some a little shorter, some a little bit longer, just depending on what is going over in that unit. Um, but this study is specifically on teamwork. So what you can do is open up this study guide, and it's just a list of guided notes of everything you would need to know throughout this study that'll help you on your assessment on it. So if you are able to, you can click this print button at the top and you can print this out for yourself to have it right in front of you and you can write on it anything that you want while you are going through this study. So the study guide is supposed to help you take notes while you're going through the study itself. So on the study, you would read through everything. Sometimes there's pictures. This right here is a little like quizlet that you would have throughout the study. It's not for a grade, but it's supposed to just assess your knowledge so far before you move on to make sure you're clearly understanding what's going on in the study. So in which of the following activities do you feel you have had the biggest impact? This is more of a survey, so you can pick whichever one you want. I'm going to say 
working on a group project for class and I'm going to click submit. And this one, because it was a study, tells you what everyone else that has taken this has answered. So there were a lot of people that play on a team sport or in a league, uh, maybe not so many people that have played in a, um, put on a play in a school and so on. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but you would just click next and go throughout the study just like that, reading everything. Anytime you see a blue bold term, you can put your mouse over it and click and it'll give you the definition of that term. So that's a very important word in this specific study. It will definitely be on the assessment. So make sure you know your vocab as well. Um, this one is one where you can type in your answer. Apex is very guided for you. It'll tell you exactly what to do. So this one says in 25 words or fewer, how does it benefit your team for you and the other members to be experts at different things? You would type in your answer like so, and then there would be a submit button once you start typing things in. So you continue on. Here's that term again. I can click it to go over the definition. You would just read through, read through, and so on and so on. Here's a little sample quiz for you to make sure you're understanding. Every once in a while there will be videos. I was hoping one might come up, but it doesn't look like there's going to be one in this study. But if there's a video, you would just press play, watch it. They're never really that long. Um, the math ones have a lot of videos, so those will be helpful for you as well. But you'll go through the whole study and you will not click through it this fast. You will read through it so you understand what's going on in the study so that you can be successful in your quiz. But then once you get to the end, it says, are you ready to move on? I'm going to say yes. So just for sake of this um, video, we went through the study rather quickly. And now that that's done, I got a green check mark and it shows that I'm ready to move on to the next thing, which is the 127 quiz. So I'm going to press resume and I'm going to click continue. Okay, so resume just meant I must have opened it in the past and didn't actually start it. But here's your quiz. It tells you at the top how many questions it is. We're on question one out of 10, and it says the business automation expert, aka BAE, develop computer systems for businesses. What would be the best reason for Bay to use teams instead of individuals? You would read through your choices. They're almost always multiple choice. Sometimes they're fill in the blank, especially with math. Um, but you would pick your answer for sake of time. I'm just going to click C and I got it right. So it'll tell you if you got it correct or if you got it incorrect. <clears throat> and then once you're done with that, you can move on to the next question and do the exact same thing. You pick your answer, submit. Unfortunately, I got that one wrong, but it's good. So now you can see it. it tells you you got it incorrect and then it says what the correct answer is. So read through that so you can read and understand why you got that one wrong. And you will continue on through your whole quiz. At the end, it'll tell you how you did. I'm not going to finish this quiz, <clears throat> again, for sake of time. But once you do finish it, <clears throat> you would be brought back to this page. And that quiz that we just did, which was quiz 127, will have a check mark. Okay. If, for instance, you took your quiz and you failed it, you will have, <clears throat> sorry, you will have a second attempt to take that quiz and pass it. If you happen to fail it again, what you're going to do is reach out to your teacher because after you fail a quiz or any assignment twice, it'll lock you out and you won't be able to retake it anymore until your teacher resets it for you. So at that point, you will reach out to your teacher and they will reset it for you and you will be able to take it again. So that's the studies and the quizzes. <clears throat> And you'll notice on here with the ones I already did, there was a study here and then a quiz, a study and then a quiz. These should have green check marks. I must not have um, said I completed it, but you will when you're going through these piece by piece. Now, something that I skipped over that I want to show you now is a practice. So, yes, there are a lot of studies, quizzes, studies, quizzes. The quizzes are all uh, multiple choice and they're all online. The practices, the journals, sometimes there's discusses. Those are all written assignments. <clears throat> so when they come up, you're going to click on the assignment itself. This one is practice number one, two, five. If your teacher wants you to do this practice, you will click on the practice itself. You will read through the directions right here. And then it says right here to click on the icon for your assignment and then submit your answers to your teacher for grading. So you're going to follow that set of directions almost every time. So this is the icon it's talking about. Just like the study guide, you're going to press on the practice and it's going to open up the written assignment for you. Again, if you have the ability to print it, go ahead and print it. If not, just take out a separate sheet of paper. Make sure you write the assignment number at the top. Make sure you write your name at the top of it and then make sure you label each question number. So when you're answering question number one, put a one on the paper and then write your answer to it there and so on. 
So once you finish this written assignment, like I told you in the directions, you will submit it to your teacher and then you will be able to move on to the next thing. Your teacher will grade it, input a grade for you, and then you'll get that green check mark to show that you've completed it. <clears throat> So anytime you want to go back to this screen, there is a little home button on the top left. So I'm going to go back in here and just show you again. This little home button on the top left will take you right back to this screen. So I'm going to go back into unit one. We've gone over the studies, the quizzes, and the practices. Um, sometimes there are projects. It's the same thing. You'll click that project icon. You can open it and do the written assignment like that. And then at the very end of every unit is a test. Unfortunately, the test is locked, but I'm glad that happened because I want you to see what you would have to do. If you have this locked icon for the test, you're going to have to reach out to your teacher to have her unlock it for you. She just wants to, or your teacher just wants to know when you are taking that test, so that's why you have to reach out to them when you are ready to take it. And there is a review assignment before the test, so as soon as you start the review, that's when you're going to want to reach out to your teacher to let them know that you are ready to take the test, so they have time to log into Apex and unlock it for you. Okay, if you want to review with your teacher, just reach out and ask them. Again, we are here to help you. We are a team in this, and we are going to get you through it. Okay, once you finish that test, you'll be able to move on to the next unit once you get that green check mark there. So the CST is the computer test. Um, <clears throat> it'll be graded for you. It's multiple choice, just like the quiz was. It's just a little bit longer because it's on the whole unit. So you had many quizzes throughout the whole unit, and then it'll end with a test at the end. Um, so to check your grades throughout everything, what you can do is click on, whoops, I'm trying to get back to the home home screen. Why won't it let me? So if you can't go back to the like main screen from mine, usually there's a button up here that allows you to do it. You can just go back and type in Apex again. I'm going to have to log in again. Uh, but it'll take you right back to this dashboard where all of your courses were listed. So your grade to date is going to be listed here. You can click on that. And it'll show you everything that you've completed and that you what your grades were on it. So that first quiz that I didn't take with you, I took it earlier so you could see this. Um, it was out of 30 points. We got or I got 21 right out of 30 when I went through it. That got me a 70%. It shows that it's completed, and this is when it was completed. So you can check your progress throughout the whole course, and you can see what you're missing. So I actually missed this practice. So I would have to go back and complete it because it's worth 30 points and I want to make sure I get that grade. So to do the practice, I would just download the assignment, complete it on paper, and submit it to my teacher. So keep up to date with your grades. Make sure you're on pace to be you know, getting a good grade and being successful overall. Um, it said on that last page what your grade is to date, so keep an eye on that. You'll see that every time you log in because this is the main screen you see when you log in. Um, Make sure you write down that password and go through the studies in depth. Take those notes on the study guides if you can. If you can't take the notes on the study guides, just take your own notes because those notes will help you on the assessment. So when you're taking a quiz, you can look back at those notes and they're there to help you. So you have access to everything on the course at any time that you want. And you always, 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 I cannot stress this enough, you always have access to your teacher. Your teacher is always going to be there to help you. So when you have a question, when you need to meet for office hours to get assistance on something that you're struggling with, or even if you just want the notes explained to you, reach out to your teacher, reach out to your teacher, reach out to your teacher. They are there to help you. Okay, I wish you the best of luck with your course. I hope this video was helpful for you.